a very nice backhand drop shot here from Joel King, taking that ball into that front corner with real aplomb and just touching that ball in. But there's a lot of good stuff going on here, which I'd like to point out. And let's break it down bit by bit. First thing I want to point out is actually where the ball goes and lands. So let's have a look there. As she plays it, look where that first bounce lands. And then here's the second bounce. And she's just guaranteeing that that ball's staying away from the side wall. Okay, if you're being very picky, you might want that ball to be a little bit tighter. But the key to this is she's playing floorboard squash. There's that first bounce, second bounce, forcing her opponent to go as wide in the court as possible. So where she's aiming is really key because she's got a bit of an angle and might be tempting to go for that nick area. But when that happens and you catch that side wall just above, above the, uh, the nick, it can actually pop out a lot. Okay, so that's where the ball ends up. Let's have a look at the technique as she goes in here. She's got beautiful options there. Look how that racket head is above the ball. She actually goes for quite a big swing in this one. She's lifting that racket head up as that front foot's driving down. So even in this position, it makes her opponent just stop a little bit. You see Sarah Jane in the background there. She's not able to fully commit because Joelle's lifting that swing up high just above her head. And now she's got a lot of options. She could accelerate the racket head from this point. But then look how, the, how this beautiful shape, she drops that racket head down and goes behind and inside the ball. Look at those strings buttering and carving and really brushing across the side of that ball, giving it some spin off those strings. That's just such a beautiful image and it's really nice to be seen from the front here. So again, there's that threat, lovely step and timing, really coming across that ball. And then what's really good for the final bit is she doesn't let her racket now automatically go all the way across to the opposite side wall. Look how she points her racket and the top of her racket to where she wants the ball to go. That's so important. I see a lot of players go from there. They try to get this little bit of cut and slice and they let the arm come so far across that you end up actually losing control in it. She just holds that top of that racket head into the area she wants to go and there it is there. Like if we just look at the top, that plastic bit of her racket where the bumper is, that's really pointing to where the target is. And that's such an important bit to make sure that ball goes exactly where she wants it.